Tonight now, frustration mounting for residents months after they had to leave their homes after a deadly storm. And now they say they're being told to get out of their hotels. CBS News Nick Calloway with the latest from Elizabeth tonight. Go to the Let's go. Fed up and fresh out of options, this group took their grievances straight to Elizabeth City Hall. Mayor! But they were told the mayor was not available and they could leave a number. They are among the hundreds of residents who were displaced nearly five months ago when flooding from Ida destroyed the Oakwood Plaza apartment complex, killing four people. Many are still living in hotels paid for by FEMA. Now they could be getting the boot again. I just don't want to leave. Latia Washington was told by the city that she and her two kids had to be out today. I don't know, I just cry. It's painful. It's like I don't have nowhere to go or nothing. Former residents of Oakwood Plaza say CIS management, which runs the rent subsidized housing complex, offered them apartments in other areas. But they say many are not big enough or are too far away. Samaria White turned down an apartment nearly two hours south in Atlantic City. My family, everything, my support system, and everything is here. And I've been working at Shot Right for going on eight years. Eight years. They just want me to just leave everything. White said when she turned down that apartment, she was told by the city of Elizabeth that she would have to leave the hotel by the end of this week. We didn't bring that storm. We didn't ask to be here. And they, sh they shouldn't be mistreating us like this. The residents say they have received housing vouchers from the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Now they're just asking for more time in the hotel so they can find a permanent place to live. At least two people told me Mayor Chris Bullwage called them today but made no promises to help. We made multiple attempts to reach the mayor. So far, no response. In Elizabeth, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.